formal opening of the Center for Business Architecture Committee on Wednesday, July 13th at 7 o'clock. Um, there's a public comment period, but since we don't have any public here, we're going to move right on. Um, there was a permit review for some rear additions um, with Michael Bannis and Kui, mm -hmm. Chen Bannis, but maybe Carolyn can instruct us what happened. They're not sure. present tonight? Or? Right, they're not present. So the hearing that was scheduled for tonight, um, I just this afternoon I got notice, I think in my staff report I indicated that there were some building code issues that might trigger a requirement for a, a secondary exterior egress to access the top floors of this proposed project. So what I found out this afternoon was the applicants decided to um, uh, pare down the, uh, the expansion so that it won't trigger that secondary egress. So they're not going to do the upper floors. And the upper floors were was the only thing that was visible for my staff memo. I was trying to indicate where, you know, the projects that trigger um, review are those that are visible from a public street. So it was really that upper level of the um, rear of that building that was visible. And since they're taking that off, um, I suggested to the applicant there was no reason to come before the committee anymore. But officially, since it's already an open project and it's already been advertised you all need to officially vote to um, allow a withdrawal and there are two ways that um, an applicant can withdraw a project either with prejudice which means they can't come back with the very same project within two years or without prejudice um, i don't and so without prejudice means that if they they don't necessarily need to make substantive changes to the plan but they can come back within a two-year time frame our, my recommendation to you all would be to allow withdrawal um, without prejudice. So if something happens in the next m coming month or whatever, that um, they can just reapply and come back um, without an issue. So that's why we don't have a public hearing tonight. If, I mean, that's why the applicant isn't here because I indicated to them that they didn't need to show up um, because the action you all would take up the um, request for withdrawal. So do we have a motion? We make the motion that we that we approve the withdrawal without prejudice. Two seconds. Okay. All in favor? Great. Um, and I don't know if I have any. I don't think I sent minutes along from the last meeting. I'll probably have for the next meeting. But the only other item that I have for you all is actually we know of another project coming forward. <laughs> So I wanted to see if we could schedule tonight um, dates, potential dates that everyone would be available um, for that. Um, so I don't know what your schedule, I don't know if you have, everybody has their calendar, but I think the earliest probably would be the week of August 9th, so the, the dates of 9, 10, 11. I'm out of town all that week. Okay. We could also possibly do it the week before, but I don't have my calendar in front of me. I think it's August, um, what would that be? The second, third, fourth. Second, third, fourth. So the fourth is a Thursday. So I think we oh, can still advertise. I think that's good. <laughs> I think we still advertise for the um, second, third, or fourth. So the, the, the reality is I need to, the applicant hasn't officially submitted. But we know they're working towards that. But I need two weeks to advertise in the Gazette, so that's why we have to sort of look out for um, a couple of weeks. So yeah, I'm not um, available on the fourth. Okay. So and do you know? I just won't be available on the 18th. Okay. Okay. So so um, Alan, we're um, talking about um, another meeting. So what happened? Just now is that the applicant actually request request a withdrawal because they're paring down their project, so it's not going to be visible from the street anymore. Oh. So they voted on that already. Okay, but we are trying to set another meeting okay. um, date. Sure. So um, Joe is not available the week of the 9th, 10th, or 11th. I wonder if um, since I don't have the application yet, uh, I don't. I need two weeks to advertise, so I don't know. I guess the second or third, are you available? Is everybody available August 2nd or 3rd? Mm -hmm. Okay. You um, don't want to push it back to the two more weeks to that week. 
We could. I'd like to have a couple options. Oh, okay. So in case they don't yeah, apply. Or... Okay. okay. Um, so what about the 16th, 17th, or 18th? Are you guys available with that? Like the 18th is bad for me. Okay. So the 17th is bad for me. The 17th okay. to the 17th, you know? Okay. So Maybe the 16th. The 16th and the 18th. So 16th, okay for, okay. The 16th would work. Okay. So I'll try for, I'll go back and check and then I'll just confirm by email. So either August 2nd or 3rd or the 16th. Actually, August 2nd I could not do, but August 3rd I could. Okay. Okay. So what did you do? What was the question? The one at the beginning of the month? Um, August 3rd or the 16th. So tomorrow probably I'll try to um, close you know, close that loop a little bit and figure out meeting room and also if the applicant's available those dates. Um, and so otherwise, we already did introductions, so you might want to introduce well, yourself. Yeah, actually, I didn't get the whole oh, thing sorry. clearly. I, I, when I walked, I didn't realize you were on the committee. If we could have formal introductions, mm -hmm. I didn't hear your names. So, But I am Bob Walker from Construct Associates. I've been on this board for a few years. And I'm Elon Tierney from Keener Architects. I'm Melissa Fridlow. Uh, I work for a company called Arcadis. We're our project managers. And I'm actually an alternate on this, so I'm not quite sure if I'm allowed to vote at this point. But, um. So yes, you are allowed to vote, particularly if someone's absent, or you know, sometimes there are continuations of hearings. So if you go to one hearing and someone else doesn't, then you can fill in and vote. Um, so we've been down so many members for so many years that I have to go back and refresh my memory about. I think the full committee is actually, um, I want to say it's six, so we are probably a full complement, so you'll probably be voting for a while. I'll just <laughs> so we get my hand up and then you can make a decision. <laughs> <laughs> let's or step, down. Good step, sort of. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. So um, I, my background is in architecture, landscape architecture, interior design. Um, I, I'm not a registered uh, architect or interior designer, um, but I've been um, working in the construction field on site for about 17 years, um, doing a lot of state projects, and now my most recent project is working at Smith College. Which project has been? The Nielsen Library project. Oh, great. So I'll probably have to bow out when they come for their demolition review here. Is, is, the Nielsen, Nielsen, is that the art library, the Nielsen Library? No, or no the, uh, the main the library. library. Yeah. Oh, okay. I, don't, I don't think that's not part of central business. It's not part of central business. business. And it's a partial oh, demo. So oh, because it's not on the main. Right. It's, it's not, not on the street. Street. Yeah. yeah, and it's partial demo. So um, right, right. Demolition. No, because it's just partial demolition. So. Is that the part that they got mile in on? Yes. The one? Yeah. I'm Bridget Goggins from Goggins Real Estate, and. Um, I, um, my background is, I, I've been involved in real estate for a long time, since 2002, but that was in Chicago, and, and then in Virginia, and when I was, but uh, in Chicago, that was in real estate investment consulting, and then um, in Chicago, I mean, Virginia, that was uh, kind of a side thing when I was going through graduate school, I was doing commercial real estate, so, um, but I got my graduate degree through the School of Urban Planning at the Virginia Commonwealth University, where, um, I was studying uh, sustainability and a little bit of historic preservation, things like that. I'm also a, a lead AP, um, so that's the, the whole reason I actually came back to, to work with my father, who is Pat, so I'm sure you know. <laughs> <laughs> I might as well say that because people tell me I look like a Well, you want to know which, which goggles you yeah. want. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. The question's always asked, so. <laughs> so I've gone, I was uh, gone from Northampton for 26 years and moved back uh, just over a year and a half ago. And uh, I was very involved in the community uh, down in Richmond where I, I really loved it down there. I worked for the uh, mayor's office for about two years in their um, sustainability office. So I was just looking for a committee to uh, be involved in. And so uh, I was very happy to get the call from uh, Mayor Narkowitz that there was availability on this community. So it was great. Okay. Well, uh, thank you. I, I'll assist you to you. Um, 
Um, I just want to say, and I don't know if this was mentioned, but I've been almost dreading coming to this meeting today thinking about um, our member that um, suddenly passed away, the client. And so I just wanted to say that I've been thinking about him a lot and hope that we're able to carry his spirit forward in our work here. He was really instrumental in on his board for a number of years. Many years. Long time. Yeah. And I also want to apologize for being late. I don't know if I was subconsciously not paying attention to the clock because I didn't want to come, but I apologize for being late. Your background yeah. sounds like it would be very it's useful great. for us here. Absolutely. Yeah. Great. Yeah. yeah. So it's great to have more women to do. <laughs> well, <laughs> it's just about a balance. Though. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, do we need to make a motion to adjourn? Is there anyone that would like to make a motion to adjourn? So moved. <laughs> All in favor? I was a Christian <laughs>